Let's look at a simple equation to see what logs can do for our graph. With the equation e equals mc squared, if we plot e against c, it will be a curve. If we plot e against c squared, it will be a straight line through the origin. If we plot e against c cubed, it will be a curve again. So this shows that we can test if the equation is correct by plotting the graph and testing for straightness. But if we take logs of both sides instead, let's follow this through. E equals mc squared. So log E equals log of mc squared. Expanding that, that's equal to log m plus log c squared. So log E equals log m plus 2 log c. If we plot log E against log c, it will be a straight line with gradient 2 and y-intercept log m. Now what if we don't know what the formula is? We can use this log-log treatment to find the relationship by doing all of that in reverse. Imagine we did an experiment with a pendulum and investigated how the time period t varied with changing pendulum length l. We get some results. And instead of plotting t against l, we plot log t against log l. We find the graph is a straight line, and it doesn't go through the origin. That means the general formula is y equals mx plus c. And the actual graph would be log t equals m log l plus c. Let's say the results from the experiment show that the gradient is a half and the y-intercept is 0 0.302. So those were our experimental results. Log t equals m log l plus c. So log t equals a half log l plus 0 0.302. That's equal to log l to the power of a half plus log 10 to the power of 0 0.302. Basically, we have raised that 0.302 to the power and then logged it to bring it back down again. This allows us to combine things. So log t equals log of l to the power of a half times 10 to the power of 0.302. We can raise those to the power of 10. So we got t equals 10 to the 0.302 l to the power of a half. Working that out, t equals 2l to the half, or t equals 2 root l. Now the actual equation is t equals 2 pi root l over g, which looks different, but g is constant, so t equals 2 pi over root g times root l. And if you work that out, 2 pi over root g is equal to 2. So t equals 2 root l. In other words, we just determined the formula using a log-log treatment.